Have you ever wondered why certain horror games make your heart race? Why do some games keep you on the edge of your seat while others fall flat? It's not just about the jump scares or the grotesque visuals, it's the audio. Sound effects, ambient noise and music all work together to create tension, fear and suspense. In this video, I'm going to take you through the techniques used in horror game audio to create this tension. Let's get into it. One effective technique is juxtaposition, where the music doesn't fit the environment or mood of a scene. This can create a sense of unease and tension for the player due to the mismatch between what they see and what they hear. In Doki Doki Literature Club, this technique is used very well. The game uses consistent music that matches the scenes, making the scenes where juxtaposition is used more impactful. For example, Sayori's scene uses distorted music, which mostly matches what the player sees. But in a small section, the main theme plays, which is a very cheerful, upbeat song. It is a small part, but it's more than enough to make the player feel uneasy. Another cool example of juxtaposition in DDLC is when the music matches the scene and mood, but not the player's knowledge. If you've played DDLC, you'll know how twisted the game becomes. It makes you feel uneasy knowing the game's dark themes while still hearing this very upbeat music. Though, this technique doesn't just apply to music, it applies to audio in general. For example, in Five Nights at Freddy's, there's a chance that the poster on camera 2B will be replaced with one of Golden Freddy. If this happens, you'll be hit with this sound. <laughs> As you can probably tell, it's a child laughing, but it's not expected to be heard in this environment. This blending of innocent sounds in a dark setting brings us smoothly to the next technique. Childlike music in a horror setting can be very unsettling. We often associate childlike music with safety and happiness, so it's not a surprise that a player would feel uneasy when hearing this innocence combined with horror. This ties into the juxtaposition technique, since it's using innocent music in a sinister context. In Five Nights at Freddy's, you are played carnival-like, child-friendly music in the event that you run out of power. This innocent song becomes a haunting backdrop as you stare directly at death, increasing the tension. This mismatch causes a type of cognitive dissonance, where the player feels comfort from the music and fear from the visuals. Not only does this use of childlike music increase tension, but it also makes these moments more memorable. Did you feel that tension? As simple as it sounds, silence is an incredible technique in horror games. Sound is one of the main ways players orient themselves in the game. Removing this audio can make the player feel isolated and vulnerable, as they don't have audio cues to help them understand their surroundings. This creates a void that players feel compelled to fill. They fill this void by overthinking, anticipating that something bad is about to happen, and imagining threats that aren't there. This lack of audio also increases the focus on visual elements. Take note of that, game devs. The fear of the unknown can be more terrifying than any actual monster. Keep in mind that players might get used to this silence when left for too long, so you might want to consider throwing in some red herrings. But before we talk about that, if you're someone that works with audio, then you might like today's sponsor, Lalal AI. Lalal AI is an incredible tool for anyone working with audio. It uses advanced AI technology to extract vocals and instruments from any track with high precision. The process is simple. Select the stems you want to separate, upload your audio, and let Lalal AI do the rest. In just a couple of minutes, you'll have high quality stems ready for your creative use. They also have a free referral program. For every user that creates an account using your link, you will receive 5 free minutes to spend on splitting songs, and each invited user will receive 10 extra minutes upon registration. Be sure to check out Lalal AI in the description for fast, easy and precise stem separation. Now, let's get back into horror game audio. Red herrings use misleading audio cues to make players think danger is near. A good example of this would be from one of my favourite horror games, Minecraft. Okay, Minecraft might not be a horror game, but it serves as a perfect example of red herrings, specifically the cave sounds. While exploring caves in Minecraft, you'll often hear a variety of sounds like these low ominous hums. And even these screeching violins. These sounds keep you on edge, making you believe that something is lurking in the shadows. 
They keep players wondering where they're coming from, but they're untraceable. However, these sounds are purely atmospheric and don't signify an immediate danger or threat, serving as red herrings. One of my favourite cave sounds would be this one. The reason I like it so much is because it uses something called dissonance. Dissonance uses notes that clash when played together. They sound harsh and unstable, lacking resolution, which builds tension. Whenever we hear a dissonant chord in a song, we feel tense because it's unstable and we want it to resolve. It's kind of like the chord is floating and we're waiting for it to land. In most songs, it will land, resolving to a stable chord and releasing the tension. But we can just keep this tension by never giving a resolution. That's why this case sound works so well. It builds tension and doesn't release it. Instead, it lets the gameplay release the tension, such as a creeper blowing you up. Things that look or sound almost human, but not quite, brings us to the uncanny valley effect. This effect occurs when something is close enough to human-like in appearance or sound to be recognisable, yet has subtle differences. In Five Nights at Freddy's, the animatronics' voices are just human enough to be creepy. They have a mechanical quality that lacks human emotion, placing them in the uncanny valley of sound. Scruffy describes this technique very well, explaining that things that look human, but not quite, such as animatronics, fall into the visual uncanny valley. Likewise, things that sound human, but not quite, fall into the audio uncanny valley. Just as we have expectations for how human-like visuals should appear, we also have expectations for how human sound should be. A good example would be this garbled phone call you receive on night 5. The audio is a distorted message that mimics a human voice, but sounds threatening. The sound is familiar, an attempt at communication by a human voice, but it's had the formant tuned down, been reversed, sped up, and had effects added to make it sound more mechanical. Sudden changes are another great technique used in horror. Sudden loud noises or changes in music can cause players to physically jolt. This response can make the player vulnerable, making them prone to subsequent scares. I'm a big fan of the music side of this technique though. In Dead by Daylight, for example, music will play and change depending on where you are within the killer's terror radius. This music has four distinct layers. The first layer plays when you're far away from the killer. The second layer plays when you're near. The third layer plays when you're close. And finally, the fourth layer plays when you're in a chase. But I want to focus on how sudden the change is between layer 2 and layer 3. It's this sudden shift that can spike tension, as players realise the killer is closer than they thought, which can trigger their fight or flight response, causing their heart to beat faster and stronger, breathing becomes quicker and deeper, and their awareness of their surroundings could be increased as they try to gather more information, or maybe it decreases because they focus more on the threat. All players respond in a different way. By understanding and using these techniques, you can make an immersive and terrifying experience that resonates with the players long after the game is over. So, the next time you're playing a horror game, pay attention to the sounds. They might just be the key to unlocking the full intensity of the horror experience.